everyone, this is Pratika Masani and today I'm going to talk about a light version of Paginated Reports in the Power BI service. I don't know since when this functionality has been available, but I came across this functionality this week and I could think of a use case where it could be very useful. To begin with, what I have here is I have a workspace. It's a just normal pro workspace. And here I have a data set. In the data set, I could right click on this, oh, I could click on this ellipsis, then I could click on create paginated report. There was a create formatted data table option functionality was also available, but they both are pretty much exactly the same. So when I click on create paginated report, what it does is I have this light version of report builder, but in the Power BI service. And what I can do is I could create quick tables. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few columns. So I'm going to start with year, then sales, change my years to don't summarize. And uh, there is, there's not much formatting options available other than I could go and change style. So I'm going to change that into bold header. And now I'm going to save it. So if I click on the viewing mode, it's going to ask me to save. I'm going to call it light version. So now when I go back to my workspace under content, I could see my report. I click on the report. It's pretty much looks like um, paginated report, but with the limited functionality. However, I could go and export it into various formats, just like paginated report. And I could go under view and then there are two types of editing options available. One is just normal editing and there is edit and report builder. So if I click on the normal editing, what it does is basically opens up the exactly the same view that we've seen before. And now if I quickly want to add a, a different column or update my list, I could quite quickly do that. So let me add a new column to this one. So I'm gonna add region. And if I go back to the viewing mode again, and that's pretty quickly, I, I it added another, the region column that I want. However, as I could see, I have some blank regions and in this light version, there are no filtering or parameters or slices and all types of those functionalities. So that's when instead of editing in the, in the service, I could actually go and edit in the report builder. And when I edit in the report builder, when I click on editing in the report builder, it opens up the report builder for me if I have it already installed. In this case, I already have it installed. And it auto, it also, you could see, it automatically created the data source and data set for me. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to filter out the region. So I'm gonna go to data set properties, go to filters, add a filter here on my region column and add an expression saying nothing and obviously i don't want it to be not equal and click ok go back to run it throws an error saying um the aggregate functionality can't be used so I go back to my design view and for now, I'm just going to remove this and go back to run. And it nicely shows me the data where I don't have any blank regions. So I go back, I could go back and I could just publish it or I could make more changes. So for example, what I want to do is I want to insert a column to the right and I want to add a sales measure. What I want to do is actually want to change my sales measure to a data bar, so I'm going to do that. And probably just expand it a bit more. Well, I could reduce the size and probably made some changes to my headers as well. So align and change the font size to a tiny bit more and make it a big a bit bigger and probably just split it to that bar for now and now i'm happy with this one i could go and 
publish to the service. Probably it's wise to just run it once to see it's still working. And I could see my data bars, the alignment and things are not that great. That's okay. So go back to design and I could publish back to the Power BI service. So there are two options. Well, I could go and overwrite the existing report. But what I'm going to do is instead of overwriting it, I'm actually going to create a new one. And I publish. So if we go back to service and look at this one, I could see there is a light version and the report and the report builder version. As soon as you change a report by using the report builder, you either edit it or create it by using the report builder, then you cannot edit it in the service anymore. You have to use the report builder. So that's why instead of overwriting the existing report, I actually created a new one. So I could show, use it in, the, in my use case. So back to Power BI service. So here, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to create a new report. And I'm going to start adding the same da data column. So I'm going to add year and sales, move my year into access. Let's remove this and I'm going to expand it a bit more. And move it down. Let's see this in the actually. So before I start saving it, what I want to do is I want to remove, hide the header icons. So I go to general and disable header icons. And now if I go to reading view and save it. Because I disabled the header icons, I don't, when I hover over my visual, I don't see this like, a, you know, export data options or zoom out and all sorts of those things. So instead of enabling the header icons, what I could do is I could actually add a, a blank button and probably move it over here. Add a text saying export data this were this url of this light version of the report and now i'm going to go to action go for web url and paste it here when i go to reading view so now when i click export data button it opens up the light version report and also it I could go and export into whatever the format I want. To extend the functionality of it, instead of just using the URL, what I could do is I could also use the URL parameters. So the, there are plain, many URL parameters options available for the paginated reports. And for this use case, I'm going to use export format. So I want my report to be exported into a PDF format. So what I'm going to do is to this URL, I'm going to add the URL parameter where I want my report to be exported into PDF. So I copy that URL, go back to my report and go to the action, replace the URL, go to the reading view. And now when I click on that button again, this time it opens up the window, but it will automatically creates a, a PDF download for me. When I click on the PDF, as you could see, it nicely created multi-page PDF document for me. And it is not only light version, basically you could use it for any paginated report. So let's edit the report again. Now, instead of calling the, using the light version, now I want to change the URL to open the other report, but instead of, PDF, I'm also changing the rendering format into Excel. And when I click on the button again, this time it's automatically creating a Microsoft Excel file for me. And when I click on the file, it not only creates Excel file for me, but it also keeps the source formatting, just like the way I created in the paginated report. Exporting data into PDFs, CSVs, or Excel files is probably one of the most requested, most commonly requested feature among various audience. 
it's not always recommended approach, but there are valid use cases where you do need it. And instead of actually enabling the exporting data for each visual, having a button to export the data in more nicely formatted way and in more controlled way, it's actually much more benefited. And first of all, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna add better user experience the less clicks for the end user to export the data instead of going to each individual visual and exporting the data and then combining them together later for whatever the use case it is for. But instead of that, for a whole report page, a whole Power BI report page, we could add one button where end user could go and click on it, then it creates this nicely formatted, or it doesn't have to be formatted. It could be a very light version of a table with multiple columns that they need. So let me know what you think of this use case and also let me know how you are using the Power BI Passionator reports in the Power BI service. Until next time, bye.